Hey guys, it's Small Pet Haven here, and I have a new cage for the piggies. It's a 5x2 CNC cage, only it's not chloroplast on the bottom, it's curtain. So now it sounds like uh, cubes and curtain. <laughs> That's what CNC cage is for me. Um, it's just a thick shower curtain. Um, they haven't been chewing on it yet, so I'm hoping they don't. It's just put to the side. Waterproof, keeps everything in, whatnot. Um, I have it decorated for Christmas, as you can see. That's just a pile of some random stuff that I have. They're eating their salad, which consisted of consisted of kale, parsley, orange, and carrot. And they're not a big fan of the oranges, but that's okay. Um, there's virtue, there's incendio. Um, the cage is huge. I can lay down in it because it's 5 feet by 2 feet, which is 10 square feet. Good for 3 to 4, I think, guinea pigs? Yeah. It's a lot of room. Needless to say, they look puny in it. See, that's from above. They look tiny. Um, I have a kitchen area over here with their pellets. Two water bottles. Hay rack, a kebab, a little bell thingy. Oh, sorry guys. This one has a bell on it. And then there's their Himalayan salt lick, their veggie bowl. Um, two, three alfalfa cubes because it's good for them to wear down their teeth. Oh, wait. One of those I think is a berry cube. No, this is an alfalfa cube too. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, I hurt you. Um, they have their stuffed chicken, um, a cuddle cup, because I haven't finished my actual cuddle cups yet, a, um, snack shack chew, a guinea pig chew, it says guinea pig on it, a space hangy chew, a dome house, which I think, no, and Sendo's underneath the fleece forest, in his donut bed. Wanna say hi? No? There he is. Um, I have another hangy toy, which is a parrot toy, but that's perfectly fine for the animals. Um, a nut not nibbler, a kitty cat jingly ball, um, a loofah chew, quite a few really chewed up wood chews, a seagrass chew, which they have not been chewing on. Oh well. Um, and of course they're Puddle tunnel, which is all nice and soft because it got dried. These really go a lot softer once you um, wash them a couple times. They're so squishy. Almost makes me want a blanket made out of that stuff. But anyways, this is my CNC cage. The pigs are doing good. They had that and they like, I gave it to them and they chewed that side. <laughs> in one day, so I was like, uh, well then. So, I took that out for a little while. I think I'm gonna give it back to them later. And then that's their walk-up barn. I've also been feeding them a little bit of their treat food, which is this. Just a scoop. Um, let's see if they have any in here. They normally eat all the little colored bits out first. Here's a little piece of fruit. Oh wait, here we go. These are part of it. And then these lighter pellets are part of it. Ew, poop. Anyways, those lighter pellets are part of it. And they also have little split peas, which they like a lot. But they seem to like their um, normal food better than that, so. Like I said, it's only treat food, so they don't get much. Because I can feel Virtue's um, shoulder blades. Which I shouldn't be able to do. Hi, that was a very nice popcorn. Come here. Oh, come here. Fine. You're being all like cute. Fine. Come here. Ugh. Fine. You silly piggy. He does that. He likes to play a chase. Aw, and Cindy is so cute. He likes to hide a lot though. He's back. So it is white CNC grids. Um, 
And yes, those are black zip ties, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's a nice cage. I don't think they can get out of it, so I'm happy about that. Guys, stop fighting over the donut bed. There's another bed right here and another bed right there. Pick one. Pick one. He's like, mmm, Kale. Aw, here's Nintendo. He's so cute, isn't he? Nintendo! Hello! He's shy. But he's getting better. But that's the piggies. See you guys.